ごちそうさまでした。Wow, was that good or what? <laughs> yeah, yeah, or when he caught the egg on his spatula, right? <laughs> that was pure skill right there. Or, or when he set the on fire, right? That was amazing. See, I told you, I know all the best places. <laughs> When you realize the chef didn't speak English. <laughs> yeah, sorry. I didn't know that would be the case, but I mean, we got along fine. You and your wild gesturing and Google Translate and the little bit of Japanese I know. I think the chef really appreciated it. I think it reminded me a lot of this omakase restaurant I went to in Vancouver. The chef didn't speak much English and neither did his wife. The two of them ran the restaurant themselves, and let me tell you, they were so sweet despite the language barrier. Mm hmm? Oh, omakase? Um, I think the direct translation is chef's choice or up to the chef, something like that. In this case, it was a set menu of nigiri sushi. So I think there was scallop and otoro and wagyu and oh my god, there was something called mantis shrimp? Yes, the thing that punched through that fisherman's shoe. Oh my gosh, I'm so glad you. Oh, thank goodness you saw the video. That, I ate that creature. Uh, no, I think it was boiled. I mean, it just kind of tasted like any other shrimp. Maybe a little bit grainier, something like that. <laughs> I mean, sure, I'll take you for omakase at some point if you really want. I think you'll really enjoy it if you enjoyed teppanyaki tonight. Anyway, don't you think it's part of the experience? When you and the chef can't communicate, You have to get creative, and that makes it a unique experience and something you'll remember for years to come. Exactly. I bet he'll always remember the dude that tried to tell him, no shrimp. <laughs> I mean, you could have just whipped up your phone for that, or just tell me. I know what most foods in Japanese are. You with your Big X with your arms and trying to. <laughs> I'm glad you had fun then. I'm full of once in a lifetime experiences. Would you like to experience them? <laughs> yeah? <laughs> Sorry, I can't, I can't stop smiling. <laughs> you know, I really thought after last weekend that we. Were a once in a lifetime experience that I'd never see you again. So I can't tell you how relieved or rather overjoyed I am that I get to see you again. That. <laughs> that. Um. That I found you. <laughs> Would you. <laughs> would you like to, um. <clears throat> keep seeing each other? I, I know this is only our second time meeting, but. I mean, I can't be the only one who thinks it must be fate that we met in the first place, right? You said it yourself that you don't go hitting on girls. And well. I don't say yes to every man that asks. You said. <laughs> you said I was special. 
Yeah. Well, I think you're pretty precious, too. Very precious. So precious. So precious that I'd like to keep you. <clears throat> I mean, keep seeing you. <laughs> Would you like to come over again? But, you know, stay the night this time. Spend the night and get breakfast together. There's this little diner across the street from my apartment. And, I mean, we already know that I know the best places to eat, so... <laughs> that night, actually, I was already thinking that we get breakfast there. But I guess you left after I fell asleep, since you weren't there in the morning. This time... Would you... Would, would you like to stay? Yeah? <laughs> mm. Mm. 